Ya, Pak. Nanti kita kembali lagi. Mau apa? Lihat lagi apa? Udah kan? Udah kan? It's a good day for the Indonesian army. These soldiers have killed 10 rebels from the Achenese separatist group GUM in an ambush. As the press arrive, the battle scene is still fresh. The soldiers who lost two of their own are still pumped full of adrenaline. Iya, dia pun masuk kan di sini, masuk ke sana. Mereka suruh keluar, keluar hantam dia langsung saya babat pakai ini. Dongkol aku. They accuse these villagers of helping the rebels. Gong ini gong. Jadi siapa yang ngomong nggak ada gam di sini tadi? Tahu siapa orang? Hah? Bohong semua. Bohong semua orang kamu. Tadi nggak ada orang kamu segini. Sekarang banyak sekali. Katanya pergi semua orang ini. Even before I get to where the ten bodies lie in state, the first warning is given. Balik lagi. Pak wartawan, sepuluh minit cabut. Balik. Sepuluh minit cabut. Lama-lama. All the other reporters have left, and I quickly understand why. I'm given a not so subtle reminder that there will be no opportunity to ask questions here. The soldiers want to get on with their interrogation. Gamnya masih ramai dikatakan di sekitar sini. Jadi kita nggak bisa berlama-lama di lokasi. Takut mereka akan mengempul ulang atau membalas dendam. Karena mereka tahu anggota mereka banyak yang gugur. After a few years of press freedom following the fall of Suharto, the Indonesian army's offensive in Aceh marks the beginning of a new relationship between military and media. It all begins in Jakarta, at military headquarters. Here journalists in military fatigues begin four days of training before going to Aceh. Semua ketentuan militer sudah berlaku, itu ada. Mulai detik ini. The Indonesian Army, or TNI, has clearly learned from the American experience in Iraq, embracing the concept of embedded journalism. Terkesan otoriter, memang. Memang otoriter. Karena memang saatnya harus otoriter. Saat kita mau demokrasi ada juga saatnya. Tapi dalam hal ini terkesan otoriter benar. Anda kenal cacing? Kenal. Cacing itu binatang lembek. Keinjak aja mati. Tetapi dia mampu menembus tanah. Nah kalau Anda latihan empat hari ini aja nggak tembus, itu lebih parah dari cacing. Nah nanti saya akan lihat di lapangan, 
Apa anda turunan-turunan cacing apa manusia? Siap. Kembali kembali posisi mula. After the get to know your commanding officer session, it's into the back of the truck for the two hour ride to Mount Sangabuana for the four day boot camp. Here they learn what the TNI believe to be the essentials of war reporting. Lesson number one, ambush practice. Kira-kira betul apa salah? Salah! Betul apa salah? Yang depan betul. Betul. Nah, ini akan mati kalau bila begini nih. Untuk itu, supaya membiasakan kita mencari perlindungan yang benar, maka kita u... Ulangi, ya ulangi. Selalu sebelah itu mati. Terubahnya terlalu mau ke sini. Ada banyak orang. In Baghdad, reporters stayed at the Palestine Hotel. In Loxamawe, the center of the military operation in Aceh, it's the Vina Vira. They are crammed in. Three to a room. These reporters were in the first group to do the boot camp at Sangabuana, where they were told they must produce patriotic journalism. On arrival in Aceh, they are watched closely and are often reminded of their training. Di sana orang teris pun bilang dia sudah mana komitmen kamu dong sama Sangabuana. Lah, saya pun bikin komitmen kita nak cuma ikut Sangabuana. Citra Prastuti is a reporter for the Jakarta radio station 68H. Petar petir karena kita tetap ingin menjadi jurnalis yang baik yang cover both sides, tapi di satu sisi kita seolah-olah sudah menempatkan diri pada posisi TNI dengan menjadi amateur journalist padahal yang enggak begitu juga maksudnya. Bernie Mustafa writes for the English language newspaper The Jakarta Post. He says some of what they learned at the boot camp was useful. But the military indoctrination was a little over the top. This is the kind of manufactured event the military want on the nightly news. Ordinary Achenese displaying their undying allegiance to the red and white flag of Indonesia. Untuk para rekan-rekan Kuramil, setelah saya sampaikan, mohon dibantu kerapian posbanya. Siap! Empat tembok! Locals consuming the nightly news are fed a barrage of military propaganda. A brand new set of strict guidelines for reporting this war has been drafted by the generals running the show. It's now illegal to quote the separatist movement GUM, and no journalist is allowed to report anything which may give a negative impression of the war, or a positive impression of the enemy GUM. For reporters trying to do their job, it's never been more difficult. <laughs> Newspaper reporter Bertus Mande says the Indonesian people are smart enough to see through the smokescreen. Masyarakat Indonesia pun akan melihat bahwa pers ini dibatasi. Mereka sudah dapat berita bahwa yang masuk ke Aceh itu dibatasi. Dengan sendirinya saya yakin masyarakat yang sudah cerdas akan tahu, oh iya, ternyata ada sesuatu di sana 
yang ingin ditutup-tutupi. At the military's daily press briefing, I am the only foreigner. There is no